serving gates A29 through A55. Luggage plane, ground transportation, and concourses B and C. Please move to the center of the vehicle and stay away from the doors. We will soon arrive at the terminal station serving gates A29 through A55. Luggage claim, ground transportation, and concourses B and C. Good morning, everyone. I am uh, in Ruby on my way to get Don at the airport. He landed a few minutes ago. Uh, he went through Detroit this morning and uh, he's had uh, about an hour's worth of sleep in the espresso. <laughs> <laughs> so I imagine he's going to be coming home to rest just a little bit. But uh, it's a nice morning for a drive. It's mostly sunny. And uh, we, we started out with a chilly 42, but it's warming quickly with the sun. Well, Don says that arrivals both inside at the luggage claim area and outside is an absolute zoo. And to pick him up where I dropped him off at departure, that I'll be a lot happier. So that's what I'm going to do. Ruby and I are enjoying a nice little autopilot drive here on the uh, I-540 Turnpike Beltline. Whatever we want to call it this morning. You know, best drive ever this morning. Ruby's uh, handling all the lane changes. The Turnpike out here is not very crowded. The sky is pretty. Dawn's on the other end of the drive. Yeah, it's great. It's great to be a Tesla driver this morning. So tell me what you were saying about the airports and stuff. Right. Oh, I was surprised at. I got to the LAX last night at. I uh, tried to get there at 9 p.m. Um, it was closer to 10 p.m. because the traffic at the airport, not the freeways, not the surface streets, but just the stretch. In fact, I um, the rental car bus took us by the um, hotel I stayed at, and we just basically uh, I could have walked to the from the hotel I was staying at to the terminal faster. And the, the rental car, the rental car bus was able to get us to the terminal. It was a disaster. But, uh, it just gridlock. You know, too many cars, too many buses, uh, shuttles, too many everything. And they're working on that. It's uh, they're building a um, basically some kind of a rail system, a specialized just for the airport rail system. Uh, 2023. They're. The Olympics are is coming to LA. Oh God! Uh, 24, <laughs> maybe 28, 2024, 20, 2028, and they really want to have that thing working and uh, all the kinks worked out, I guess. But uh, yeah, I would say. But oh, okay. So here's my point. When I got to it, uh, I decided to check a bag because I had to change planes, and I don't really like having to. And I have no status on no airline. I am in the cattle car back of the plane and the overheads often fill up so I um, I check my bag well the bag quote drop line uh, they don't call it bag check anymore it's bag drop because uh, you've already checked in uh, at the kiosk and printed your boarding passes but you still have to go through the same process you always used to have to go through to drop off your bag 
and it, and it snuck back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I mean, it was ridiculous. Well, I'm being careful. It was a, a lengthy line. There were so many people there. And then security, luckily, to total to the TSA's credit, all the security, uh, at, uh, the two times I went through it, one in Raleigh, one in LAX, no line, hardly at all. I mean, like 10 people uh, went right through it. Uh, the one in Raleigh, I did the full body scanner, and of course they had to end up patting me down. Uh, uh, that was like... What know, did you have on you that caused the problem? I think it's just was my zipper. I mean, honest to God, they, they show you on the screen the little outline of the groin area. You know, there's a problem <laughs> in this area. Oh, God, I God. felt for the guy. He's like, <laughs> oh God. But, you know, he was as professional as a person could possibly be. You know, explained exactly what he was going to do and stuff. And, you know, did not say he didn't do what he... I, but, you know, if you can pat down the groin area by holding your hand about three inches off the away from the groin area, then you, that's, that's the pat, pat down. <laughs> Poor guy, honest, I feel. Um, L.A., um... Me and another guy, we um, got into the line that looked like it was going to take us through the old metal detector type thing. The new fancy machine was beside it, but the old metal detector um, machine. So we got in the metal detector line. When we got up there, and the guy said, "No, you got to get in." You know, they merged two lines together to go through the screening thing. And this, and this guy was a nice young man with the TSA. And I said, well, what do you use the metal detector? He said, oh, when the line's backed up. And he kind of looked this way. He looked like, like now. <laughs> so he sent us, us through the metal detector, me and the guy behind me. So we were through security in, oh, 30 seconds. So, you know, because the old metal detector is just... Well, he watched it. I mean, you know, he looked at the screen and I guess it flashes lights or something based on where you're, you've are got stuff. And of course, I was wearing no shoes, no belt, uh, uh, no jewelry, no no wallets, no nothing. You know, basically, uh, I had my zipper, but he, he let the zipper, <laughs> if, it, if it flagged, he let it go. Poor Donnie. Yeah. So, anyway, but uh, when you get into the terminal, it's jam-packed. I mean, there are... This is, uh, now this is like 10.45, almost 11 o'clock at night. Weren't you supposed to leave at 11? Yeah, well, I mean, I was never concerned. I was, um, you know, because I, I knew uh, Terminal 2 was the second terminal um, where I was being dropped off. Uh, and, um, you know, if you were going to like an international terminal, one of those... You know, well, really, where was you? Might have been in trouble. Well, of course, you're supposed to allow more time, but it was, um, uh, you know, interesting. So, when we landed in Detroit, God, this is we landed in Detroit at 6 30, 6 20, 6 40 in the morning. The, the place was very busy, I wouldn't say it was packed, but I mean, it was more than half full. I mean, it, there were all kind of people. But of course, that uh, Detroit is Delta's hub, apparently. Uh, and, uh, you know, I used to think Atlanta was the hub. And I'm sure Atlanta is the hub for going south. But if you're going east or northeast, I guess um, Detroit's the hub now. Uh, beats me. But anyway, uh, it's a beautiful tournament. But it, uh, there was a lot of people there. And I, and I just, you know, I found a charger, uh, a wall outlet, and plugged my phone in. And I was close to the edge of the walkway, and it was just never stopped. People were coming by me, and it never stopped. Two or three abreast, every day of one guy. It's just it never stopped. It's like God, these people are all. This is a Saturday morning, and they're they're all traveling. I wonder where you know. Must be a million people worldwide in the airports, you know. Just at walking, any given time. At any given time, just walking around, sitting at gates, uh, you know, hitting star. Oh, Starbucks is a very popular. <laughs> there was a line. McDonald's. There was a line at uh, this morning, and uh, 
I went by two Starbucks and both the Starbucks in Detroit, the line was out the door. I mean, out into the thing. So, uh, the, I went to a different place. I've got uh, an espresso. I got a double espresso this morning. So, I've got uh, all my coffee, my two cups of coffee and a little this much. <laughs> it was actually very good. And um, so, that's all the caffeine I've had except and I didn't have any coffee on the plane. I had water. But, uh, and, and the, oh, all four legs of the trip, slam, jam, full, no, no empty seats. Wow. And you flew United out and Delta, Delta back. back? All 737 900s, um, which are, uh, I guess, the relatively new planes. Uh, they're not the Max, but these, uh, I think they had 180 or 183 seats in them. Um, and as I said, they were all packed. Wow. Yep. Don said that Evanex sponsored the breakfast on the last day. Yep. And uh, they gave a swag bag, including a $15 Starbucks gift card, um, a discount uh, for Elon, um, Bucks. Elon Bucks here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. A screen cleaner, some courtesy cards if you find somebody in an EV charging spot they shouldn't be. This is for if you're at a spot like with a J1772 and it's okay for your car to be unplugged. You know, with the Tesla, that would leave the adapter locked to the car, but they can take the actual J1772 out. So that was very nice of Evanex. Oh, and there's this nice velour feeling swag bag. Yeah, yeah that's microfiber the microfiber towel. Yep, yep, yep. So thank you, Evanex. So Don came home with um, these four holographic. Um, stickers and one really nice uh actual real patch that could be put on a jacket or something and this was his um badge at the event and he um has a talking tesla and a triangle tesla owner's pin also so that's uh that's cool way cool Gray's a good girl hi gray hi sweetie Hi, honey. Hi, honey. It's my good girl. My good mama cat. Yeah, the kids are just playing. It's a nice day outside. Don's home. I'm Try very excited. Get my recliner all adjusted. I certainly had enough hugs and kisses to know yeah. that he missed me. So I thank you for missing sweet. me even I when you did. were having all of that excitement out I there. I'm very excited, but I am really glad to be home. Yeah, he's only had about an hour of sleep on the red eye. He yeah, had an aisle well. seat to get leg space, but for an overnight flight, that may not have been the best yeah, I option. I don't know what I was thinking. That was silly of me. Yeah, so he's probably going to nap. No three, sorry, but no 300-mile road trips in Ruby today. <laughs> right. We won't be taking off here in a few minutes to go on an adventure, yeah. even though it's a pretty fall day. Yeah. But um, I certainly am happy that you're home, Don. I told him that Johnny and I did really good this week. Mm -hmm. And he shouldn't worry about going off on short trips like that again if he's got some place he wants to go. But, uh, yeah. you know, I, I was thankful, though, that it wasn't, you know, like a full 10 days or, and two weekends or something. But right. well, this was just enough time to miss you but not get grumpy. Yeah. Every, <laughs> every time I saw a Model X and I saw a lot of them. You I thought about me? Me and Ruby. Yes, oh, right. thank you, Donnie. Yeah. So I want you to know the TV was only on one time the entire time you were gone. Well, you that's how giving my TV proper attention. That's how busy I stayed. Gosh. And when I did finally turn it on, now yeah. look, I'm really smart and I can operate that remote as good as you. Yeah. But I never operate the remote, so and I, I I didn't want to take the time to learn. Yeah. But I was able. I was able to. Find the guide and the DVR programs and even the on-demand stuff. Whoa. But I ended up, I was just like, after 10 minutes of trying to figure it out, I just settled for a, a romance movie that I probably had already seen once before but didn't remember too good that had commercials. It was live TV. Oh. Oh. I needed you. You are my TV management person. He shares. He really does. I he do. shares all the time. He watches some stuff he wants. 
and then he puts on stuff he knows i like we we got a good 50 yeah. 50 in this house but during my 50 50 he still manages the remote for me so right. i did not appreciate having to figure that out and yeah. it's a good darn thing you're back to handle it for tonight because we're watching i hear the crossover event chicago fire chicago med oh, sure. is awesome oh, is okay. is like really that. good and Saturday night date night is yeah. going to be with Chicago men and Chicago fire. Wow, that sounds wonderful. Hey, Gray, you sure look comfy, comfy, cozy. I'm going to go to down and do my Sunday, I mean Saturday thing. Don is not able to nap because I keep on talking. I was going to go to town anyway, but he'll get his nap now. And, uh, I got a couple things I want to try today with the 360 Go. Don and I got caught up on all of our videos, but he was ready to take his nap. He was pretty sleepy. I um I cringe so many times at the out of focus scenes. I just I'm desperate for Canon to put out the um, firmware update for this G7X Mark III camera so that I stop having um, as much unfocused video. I'm waiting sometimes 30 or 40 seconds for the camera to focus before I start filming like with this segment. But sometimes when you just grab and go because something's happening right then and there, you don't have 30 or 40 seconds to wait or you lose. But I'm trying to practice my patience um, and uh, I'm really sorry about the blurry footage. It's, uh, it's the camera. And they've admitted there's a problem and I need them to fix it yesterday. They said the end of October, every three or four days I'm hitting refresh. Um, so fingers crossed that that happens soon. So I'm going to head over to Guardian Angel. I have a small donation that's been riding around in the car for a few days that I need to drop off. I'm probably going to walk around inside for a bit. I want to practice Ruby and Smart Summon someplace while I'm in town today. I'm really trying to help gather data, practice it, learn what it does, help Tesla grow the software. Um, so, Tux is coming up here on my side now. I'm probably going to have to get out and relocate him before I can go. It's all right. Um, and I'm going to try to mount the 360 Go here with the, one of the little temporary sticky things and give us an inside the car view of everything that's going on because we've had you know um outside the car we've had the phone view he just chased gray underneath the carport um but i i haven't filmed inside the car so um i'm gonna do that i wonder if the music is on and uh, let's see i'm gonna go to walmart i've got three bags of plastic bags. Now, not just ones that came from Walmart, but all those Amazon uh, white and blue mailers that are recyclable, all of the air-filled little bags that plastic's recyclable. Um, so I want to drop that off so that, you know, Ruby's looking kind of junky back there right now. I need to get the stuff out of the car. And uh, I may or may not also walk around Walmart for a bit. So yeah, I've got my activities in town cut out for me oh and did i say pokemon go because you know that i gotta gotta do my the way we came back to and from the airport this morning um i didn't have a time i didn't have any chance to play so there's that all right i do see tux is all safe and sound as well as either gray or slate that's on top of the van in the darker shaded part of the screen I'm over here at Explore Church where there's a level 5 to see if anyone's around town that wanted to do it with me. Unfortunately not, so I guess I'll head on to Guardian Angel now. This is the side view of the old Bob Barker slash new Fuquay Town Hall building. And um, they put in extensive landscaping and it looks really pretty. But I have to wonder why they went with gray cement blocks there for the back side of the uh, sidewalk instead of beige since everything else about the building is beige or red. Donation made around back. Now that I've gotten rid of something, let me see what I want to bring home. Just kidding, but serious. Right away, I think I'll get this box and put something nice in it for my host teacher for robotics. I got the nicest jackets here. This one's National Geographic. I was looking just maybe, just maybe a Tesla jacket. I know it's highly unlikely, but still. 
actually all the jacklets in the Tesla shop are black. If they would put a red one out there, I would buy myself a red one. I'm not buying a black one though. Pick up slides and do slideshows and movies, add music to it, and of course now I'm learning to talk and <laughs> MC a little bit. Sure. When I was a little girl, I had my own one of those fold up where the speaker and the turntable. Just were. a few treasures today. Unfortunately, to try summon from any distance and record it with this camera. I got problems because I got two phones. I can summon with Don's phone and film with mine, but I can't get too far away because of the Bluetooth and I've only got 60 seconds. So I'm going to try, but no promises I can pull this off. This is my third time. I have to say that um, Ruby has started up every time. There's none of this, uh, you know, summon failed stuff. Seems to work faster with Don's phone than my phone. So. Right. one couple loading up stuff beside me they looked at each other like surely they weren't seeing what they thought they were seeing and nobody else came over to notice or talk bummer they've already marked down some cool little girl costumes everybody screamed Jack Skellington says we have a uh, light rain now nothing too serious it's 67 out there so it's not feeling cold at the moment I saw the mailman came while I was out shopping I hope uh, he or she didn't wake up poor Don